Hello, highly esteemed viewers. Welcome to our math tutorial for today. In today's tutorial, we are going to solve this maths Olympiad question. We are asked to solve for x if x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. We are asked to look for x. It's going to be an exciting solution because we need to apply some simple knowledge we have, we, we have in indices to solve this equation. It might look so difficult, but definitely it's going to be a simple one indeed. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel. Remember to also hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I upload my new uh, Mass Olympiad content. Now let's solve this question. To solve this question, all we simply need to do is to apply some logic and also apply some rules in indices. Remember that uh, 2 to the power of 2048 can be written as uh, 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by uh, 1024, right? So if that is that, that will tell us this same value can give us 2 to the power of square multiplied by 1024. Now remember that law of indices that if you have uh, uh, if you have these two power, this can multiply this and this can also come in. So it's a simple law in indices. If we have a to the power of s uh, multiply by a y, it can still be equal to, we can still have uh, a to the power of y multiplied by x. And both of these can be a to the power of x, y. This is just a reminder of that principle. So if we apply that, that whole thing will give us 4 to the power of 10, 24. Now that simply tells us that uh, that simply tells us that 2 to the power of 2048 is still equal to this. Now, I want to still do this. If we still simplify this, this can still be equal to uh, 4 to the power of 2 times, uh, 2 times, uh, this time around, 512. And uh, this simply can give us uh, 4 to the power of 2 all in bracket multiplied by 5, 1, 2, right? So that means 2 to the power of 20, uh, 48 can still be equal to this. So if we simplify that, we can simply have this to be equal to uh, 16 to the power of 5, 1, 2, right? And that means 2 to the power of 20, 48 can still be equal to 16 to the power of 512. So if we simplify this further, we can have uh, a 16 multiplied by 2 times. Uh, this will, can give us 256, right? Because if we divide this by 2, we can get this. So that means uh, 22 to the power of 2048 can still give us that same value. So that means 22 divided by 22 to the power of 2048 can still be equal to 16 square multiplied by 256. Now, do you have your calculator? I want you to point 16 square. If you point 16 square, what will it give you? Perfect. It's going to give you 256. So this is going to be 256 to the power of 256. So that simply tells us 2 to the power of 2048 is also equal to 256 to the power of 256. Now, let's go back to our initial question. Remember, we are given that this is equal to that value. So what we simply need to do is to uh, go back to that value and equate this to that. So if we equate this to that, we are simply going to have our x to the power of x equal to 256 to the power of 2. Five, six. So what do you notice here? We have same base, we have same power. So we are going to equate any one of the above. So if we equate one, our uh, x will be equal to 2, 5, 6. That's the solution to that exponential equation. You want us to confirm if that is truly the solution, then we'll have to check. If we check, remember we are given that our uh, x is the power of x 
is equal to uh, 2 to the power of 2048. Now, x to the power of x is equal to 256 uh, two, raised to the power of 256. So if you uh, raise that power, what is it going to give us? If you have your calculator, is it going to give us the same thing as 2 to the power of 2048? Now, uh, raise this to the power. If we raise that to the power, we are going to have... Uh, have, uh, this will give us 2 to the power of 2048 will give us 3 uh, points. Let's point our calculator 2, 3, multiply by uh, 10 to the power of 6, 1, 6, right? Now let's point this 2 to the power 2, 5, 6 to the power of 2, 5, 6. What will that give us? Wow, it almost explodes my calculator. That gives me 3.23 times 10 to the power of 616. So you see this side, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So what does that typically tell me that a solution x equal to 256 is the right solution to that exponential equation. This is all I have for you for today. Don't forget to give this video a like and share it with your friends and colleagues. Remember to also subscribe to my channel so that you can get updates or notified whenever my new Math Olympia content, which I upload daily, are uploaded. Thank you and bye-bye.